How you doing, Jersey? Welcome to Ledger Live. It's time for the 2009 edition of the time-honored Jersey Shore rivalry. Locals versus Bendy. You know, every year at the Jersey Shore, we seem to have one incident that really highlights the rivalry between locals and tourists here at the Jersey Shore. A couple years ago, we had Jersey City Mayor Jeremiah Healy in a tussle with a cop in Bradley Beach. Last year, we had Belmar Mayor Ken Pringle, who caused an uproar when he wrote in a newsletter article deriding guidos from Staten Island. This year, we have another one, and it centers on one of the most hated and frankly embarrassing aspects of life at the Jersey Shore, beach badges. Check out the video. This is Michael Melham. He's a former councilman from Belleville in Essex County. On July 5th, he and his girlfriend were issued $240 in tickets for not having a beach badge while sitting here on the First Avenue Beach in Belmar. Unlike most of Belmar, where you can't even get on the beach without someone checking your badge, it's a bit of a no man's land here. The only accessible sand is a strip below the high tide line, sandwiched between a fishing pier, the Shark River Inlet, and a roped off bird sanctuary for endangered terns and plovers where no one's allowed to walk. There's no swimming allowed, no lifeguards. Mellum says he and his friends have been coming here for six years and have never needed badges until this year. So we're sitting there minding our own business when out of nowhere, two completely uniformed officers approach us from behind. Having no idea what they were interested in, they, they approached us and immediately demanded to see our beach badges. As we sat in our chairs, sat in our blankets, and began just talking to the officers, saying, listen, we've been here for six years. We're on First Avenue Beach. I mean, look around. There's absolutely, you know, there's no lifeguards. There's 90% uh, of the beach, uh, a bird sanctuary, and you can't swim. We've never needed a badge before. It's been six years we've been sitting here. Why do we need beach badges? Immediately, the one senior officer comes over to me as I'm sitting in my chair. I never left my seat. I never stood up. My tone never really changed. And he takes out his notepad, and he immediately starts to demand to see identification. We don't have our driver's license on us. Our condominium is right across the street on the water. So we're, we're at the beach. We don't have identification on us. Well, we need your name, your address, and your date of birth. I said, for what reason? He goes, I have to run you. And I said, you have to run us? I said, what are you running us for? And he said, I just have to run it. You're going to run our driver's license. And he goes, that's it. They're all getting tickets. And at that moment, I really, probably for the first time in my life, feared that I was about to be arrested. He never gave us the opportunity just to leave. He never gave us the opportunity to buy a beach badge, like in other towns. Why are we getting tickets? And he actually said to us, you're not getting a ticket because of no beach badge, you're getting a ticket because of your attitude. And I said, we're always referred to him as officer, the senior guy is sir. And I finally said, you know what, we're gonna take the tickets, unfortunately we have to accept them, and we're gonna fight this out in court. All right, that guy is fired up, Mellum is not backing down. And I spoke with Belmar Mayor Ken Pringle, who said town officials have no comment at this point. They'll make their case when the two sides meet in court next month. But that raises again this whole cultural issue, right? If you're not from here, if you come here as a tourist, as a Benny, you got stories like that. Everybody's got stories like that. You know, I've been both a Benny and a local. I live here now and frankly, I can't wait till Labor Day when everybody goes home. But I've been a Benny and I know what it feels like. You come here and you feel like your pocket is being picked at every turn sometimes. B.T. Wall, he's an aspiring screenwriter from Woodbridge. He not only took his case to court, he wrote a rap song about it. He plays the lawyer in this next video. It's a rap that he wrote and it's performed here by the rapper G. Styles. Great stuff, fun stuff, sums the whole thing up. Check it out, we'll leave you with this. Take it easy, Jersey. Welcome to the Jersey Shore. Who could ever, ever ask for more? I was with my lady, yeah. she was really fly Was the weekend of the 4th of July The boardwalk was hopping, had the sand in the sun Crack me a brew just to have some fun I took two sips before I could turn around It's a cop on the three way without a sound I didn't know to look out for the beach patrol I went there on vacation, almost wound up on parole He wrote out a ticket, handed it to me Said Damn. you got to the end of August, paid the fee What could I do? I don't know What could I say? I don't know Man, he really ruined my vacay it was a 
to a bus, a bus for a beer. Arrive on vacation, leave on probation. In late August, I went to pay the fine. Got lost off the parkway, running out of time. I pulled to the side, asked the lady for directions. Leaned out the window with only good intentions. I said, hey, baby, you know your way around. She said, hey, buddy, you're not from this town. She put out something shiny and held it to her chest. I'm an undercover hooker and you're under arrest. Man, this is messed up. Man, I can't believe this is happening to me. The Jersey Shore, the Jersey Shore. Who could ever ask for more? Yeah, I wasn't welcome. Yeah, I should have known. When I saw the sign, please go home. Arrive on vacation, leave on probation. Arrive on vacation, leave on probation. Back was behind me before I could blink. They clapped the cuffs around my wrist and threw me in a clink. Hired a local lawyer, he bailed me out quick. He said, pay attention, it's really kind of sick.